What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of What It Do in the Lou. Max Local Eats is synonymous with Smashburger. This popular burger joint and its local marketplace are located inside Bluewood Brewing on Cherokee Street. We're in the Cherokee Lamp Historic District on the east side of Cherokee. Some of the buildings in this area date back to the 1860s. Today, this building's home to one of the best burgers in St. Louis. Let's take a look inside. So what exactly is a smash burger and what makes it different from other burgers? Uh, I suppose the big difference is going to be the volume of meat. Um, a, a thick burger is probably going to be cooked to temperature, uh, medium, medium rare. Um, a smash burger is going to be one to a one to three ounce patty um, that is shaped in a in a way that gives it a crispy edge. Well, can you tell me a little bit about your food philosophy? We're a different shop from a lot of restaurants in the sense that um, all of our proteins we buy whole pigs and whole cows uh, from small local farms, um, and we buy as much produce as we can from small local farms as well. Um, it's not unlike a backyard tomato, right? It's the one you want to eat, right? And that's the other example I would say is, you know, there's there's a very small window each year where you can get a slice of tomato on our burgers. And that's when we can get them heirloom, local, and in season. And when they're gone, they're gone. You just, I don't know, that's just how we do it. So what can your customers expect to find in your local market? Um, I'd like to tell people our market is kind of like a farmer's market with a roof over it. Um, every 99% of the stuff in there um, is from local producers. Uh, everything from salsa and flour and eggs, obviously retail cuts of meat. So for someone who's never been to Max before, what would you recommend the number one burger to get? If they've yeah. never been. Yeah. Classic, classic cheap. I just told somebody in line. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about how COVID has changed the way that you operate and how your customers can support you now? Um, I can totally talk about that. <laughs> uh, we went from a restaurant, uh, literally, that did not take carryout orders over the phone to only doing carryout orders. And so it was a big transition or change for us. Um, we landed uh because of our location we landed on doing it as a drive-through format the main thing was food integrity it comes off the line it's in the bag we know where you're parked you're right in front here's your food it's all piping hot there's no cold fries none of that stuff that was the big thing and so uh you know staying afloat staying healthy and staying afloat um is all of a sudden the top priority and um, um, so it's been a giant curveball <laughs> honestly uh, so yeah so as an UMSL alumni uh, ah, do you have any advice for current <coughs> students that are looking to open their own business honestly i would tell you continuously put yourself out there put yourself out there call it marketing call it whatever you want but put yourself out there. Let, and, and social media sort of, you know, enables that. It makes it a, little, a lot easier, but, but I would say put yourself out there. That's, cool. my, that's, my, that's my tip. Thank you.